A recent surge in shootings have left many wondering if the capital city has a gang problem. But boots on the ground organizations in St. Paul believe that the problem runs deeper than gangs or cliques. WCCO's Reg Chapman spoke with organizers who think the issue starts at home and earlier intervention is needed to stop the violence. It's one of several recent violent acts that tug at the heart of anyone who hears the story. 15 is too young, bro. I mean, it aches to think about that baby. A 15-year-old stabbed to death inside a St. Paul high school. It had big impact on um, uh, my community navigator that uh, worked with that young man. And a 15-year-old should not be dead. Tyrone Terrell is project coordinator for St. Paul's Gang Violence Intervention Program. But we as a community have to own what's going on. It's scary for our community, but it's a community problem. And for me, it's a black community problem because the majority of folks that are doing the shooting, doing the killings, are our people. Terrell and his three community navigators work to gain young people's trust and then work to get them disconnected from activity that hurts them and community. Some of these little groups will start out being 15 together. We fall out, you take eight, I keep seven, right? And now we at it. He believes intervention needs to start earlier than 12 years old. He says by that time, they already have and know how to use guns. We've got to start zero to six. Terrell says men need to get involved no matter what age. Help needs to start at home. And we need men to first stand up in your own house. Don't go trying to help somebody else's kid when your kid needs help, when your son needs help. A group of men are working to help kids who are in crisis. About 65, 70 men showed up uh, from all backgrounds for the urgent call to say it's time for us as men to become those men that we was designed to be, the ones that uh, take care of home, the one that take care of our community. Mickey Frost and his group of volunteers want to go into schools where a lot of the violence begins. They are already in the community, mediating disagreements between groups or cliques. Both men say it's all hands on deck to deal with an issue that impacts us all. In St. Paul, Rich Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Just today, prosecutors filed charges in one of those shootings. The suspect is a 16-year-old boy. Police say they caught him with a gun near a funeral reception where three teenagers got hurt in a drive-by shooting. Investigators say that the boy's pistol had a device that made it a fully automatic weapon.